Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about some of the PvP changes that have happened on the 18th where Blizzard basically wants to favor PvP environment more towards healers than anybody else really and these changes really do affect healers. I want to give my two cents about what I think about the whole uh, change and uh, how I feel it will affect the game. On the 18th, Blizzard made a few changes to help benefit healers in particular. So here are all the changes to help out healers. A 10% increase in stamina for everybody. Strength, agility, and intellect have been nerfed by 5% for all non-healer specializations. Damage reduced by 5% for all healing specs. Now they didn't really say why these changes are out there, they didn't put a developer note to explain them, but if you're playing the game it's fairly easy to understand why Blizzard are doing this. If you're playing the game, looking at the forums and simply are talking to people that are playing healers, then you can fairly easily see reasons why they came up with this change. And these changes are basically made to help out a lot more people that are healing in PvP right now. These changes are gonna affect every player except gladiator players who are already basically the cream of the crop to be a little bit more inclusive and allow people to I guess have a little bit better healing liberties in the game. As a lot of people do feel that the damage output in Legion is a little bit too fast for them to react. This also says for us that Blizzard wants for arenas to be more about lineups and I'm pretty sure that's where the meta is going to change to instead of simply being able to train down damage and then score kills because you deal a ton of damage like we saw in patch 715 with double demon hunters taking on healers by both going into metamorphosis training one target until the healer is completely out of mana and then both demon hunters swapping to mana break the healer where you literally are not looking for setups you're simply just dealing as much damage until the healer is out of mana and once he's drained of mana you mana break him so then you literally win thanks to damage. Now this change doesn't really apply for gladiator players, it doesn't really apply for players that are good at the game in terms of pvp healing. This change doesn't really apply for people who are even halfway decent either, those people might not even notice all that much. This is for everybody else who's having a hard time pvping in legion as a healer. I've had a few meetings with people who did say that Healing in Legion is harder than they remember and I've been told multiple times that in BC the healing made sense, in MOP the healing was nice and smooth, and even in Warlord's Jenner some people are saying that Warlord's Jenner, by god, <laughs> worst expansion for PvP in general might have been the worst expansion for WoW and ever, but I've had people tell me that Warlord's Jenner did better in terms of healers and PvP did a more justice than the current expansion of Legion, which I think is interesting. I do remember watching a live stream back in Pandaria where a girl was playing some Godcom games at 2300 rated with her title of her stream, and I can't even make this up, literally says pushing 2400 with Resident Cleaver, which is basically a Resident Sleeper with God Comp, God Cleaver, I won't really know, but she's basically playing God Comp and she's falling asleep while she's playing 2300 rated games, which I guess it kind of says that maybe in Pandaria healing might have been actually easier than it is currently. Healing has been a powerful tool and just a powerful thing in PvP for the last two expansions. During that time games for 2v2 and 3v3 seem to last a lot longer than Ron Jeremy when he is filming. Dampening was the mechanic that was introduced later into the arenas which was the over time made healers less powerful in terms of potency for healing in order to finally end the match with a clear winner. The problem was that the healers in last few expansions and I guess currently right now that's the kind of how the trend is coming back to in last two expansions the healers were way too strong for the game and the easy solution was to simply add a debuff that made them weaker over time where the heals became less potent the longer the game went on but just how strong were healers back in the last few expansions if you might have skipped out warlords general or miss pandar which i can't blame at all the 2v2 ladder was literally full of healer DPS teams instead of any variety of uh, double DPS of any swords. The deck was tilted definitely towards healers. It was so bad where 2k rated players were back paddling. Yes, that's right. Uh, it is a little bit absurd to me to see that. Uh, I know that 2k is not like an amazing rating. It's definitely nothing to laugh at, but it is not cream of the crop either it is not gladiator or anything 2400 is a higher rating but i feel like a 2k i feel like players should be able to have at least the basic uh understanding and mo movement and thought process of somebody who pvps and i feel like backpedaling is just something that shouldn't be excused but we literally had healers who were backpedaling all the way to 2k rating because that's just how powerful healers were in pandaria and in world of general 
Honestly, I feel like the whole mechanic of dampening is kind of like a cheap cop-out. I'd rather watch a match where teams are outmatching each other, one team is better than the other, and they're pulling crazy strats and doing lineups, and that's how they score a kill. But instead, you basically are waiting for dampening to kick in so you can finally score a proper kill. Don't get me wrong, I love games that last 22 minutes, but only when amazing players, just the greatest players that would compete against one another. But I don't want every 2v2 game to last 22 minutes, which is how kind of how most of them do. The excitement dies out very quickly when you have to spend 10 minutes jerking around only to afterwards do anything because dampening eventually is high enough where you can actually score a kill. And I think that's kind of where the issue is with healers. So I'm not really agreeing with this buff. I guess it is a good thing that Blizzard is taking a look at healers and looking at the concerns. But I don't think that they're hitting the issue at the core. I feel like that the core of the problem in terms of PvP and balance and healing is still going to be present. This is a little bit of a band-aid. But I feel like somebody needs to go in and look at the very deep details of it all. So in this patch on the 18th, healers got a pretty massive buff. But I do kind of wonder, has Blizzard taken a look at every single healer in the game and judged them if each spec was too strong and maybe each specific specs needed certain buffs? I mean, do they know that Restoration Druids can literally sit in bear form and tank all the damage without dying, whether it's 1 or 2 DPS on them? Do they know how powerful having 2 schools of magic it is for disciplined priests? Uh, do they have any idea how just how versatile Restoration Shamans are with their defensives, talents, and how strong they are, especially in those dampening fights for 2v2 and especially 3v3? Have they tried to burst into a Paladin healer? Because those guys will literally burst right back into you with those melee wings and heal through all of your bursts with their bursts. And on top of it, they still have defensives and you have to wait for your offensives. And then their offensives are in a 1 medical then so they trade offensive for offensive while having defense. I mean, I honestly thought... And I actually kind of like the idea that healers were a little bit tougher to play in Legion. So when you see a healer and he's just a live lord, no matter how much damage you throw into him, you can tell that, okay, that's a really good player. He knows exactly what he is doing. So I felt like there was a little bit more weight to a uh, player just outplaying you completely. And I feel that healers in Legion currently have their own strengths to play up to. So I kind of like the idea that healers were difficult and each healer had strengths to play up to and weaknesses, of course. But they were still powerful to their own extent, but they weren't completely emasculated every single DPS in a BG or arena so it felt like there was opportunity for DPS dealers to deal some serious damage if you knew what you were doing but as a healer you could counteract him completely but only if you were somebody who was distinguished enough and knew your class so well and knew all of your abilities and exactly how to counter specific comps and specific classes where it was like okay this player earned it it felt like it was earned so you just like it didn't really play through the match thinking like oh man this guy only won because he's playing certain class or because healers are so good it was like no he won because he played that super freaking well and I feel like now we're kind of going to be backpedaling to that whole point where it's like oh he literally won because he was sitting in bear form and healers got buffed I don't know I feel like it might be I feel like that would be a less fun uh, part of the game in terms of competition if, if Blizzard does want to take PvP uh, to be more fun the PvP has to be competitive you have to have some kind of a goal you strive for so if your goal is to get better to the point where no melee can destroy you as a restoration druid compared to somebody who doesn't put nearly as much time or effort into the restoration druid spec and he gets destroyed, it kind of just makes sense there. But I do understand that Blizzard is trying to appeal towards more the casual audiences and maybe audiences that are new way in Legion. So I guess this change is proper for what we're discussing here, but I feel like it could backfire pretty easily and I could see majority of the community that wants a competitive PvP where kind of the more time you put in the more skill you develop the better you are those people will be a little bit disgruntled because you're trying to close the gap between a good player and a mediocre player and there'll be basically almost no gaps I mean I think there should be like a, a gap so then somebody does feel you know powerful um, I do also I'm not really sure how I feel about this change I do want to say the one thing I don't really like how Blizzard does flat stat nerves by a flat percentage I think that there are some uh, specific changes that could be done to some classes and specs uh, I guess I'm not a big fan of like how they buffed everyone's stamina by 10% because I'm like, whoa, 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 that's a lot of stamina. Like, uh, uh, do you see how much uh, health some Death Knights have? They have 4.5 million health right now, man. Have you, have you taken a look at the numbers? I, I feel like uh, this is just like not detailed enough changes and it's just maybe some even rash changes. I feel like if Blizzard devs were to go, whoever's working on PvP, and fine-tune certain abilities, certain stats for everybody, just in very, very 
detail like a very 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 detail like even by two percent five percent fifty percent like you know, certain abilities that are are performing then i feel a little bit better because then i would feel like devs are really paying attention but when they take every single spec in the game it's like oh let's just uh turn the dial 10 percent buff for stamina it's like whoa, 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 whoa. do you know how adverse these effects are do you know what else is affected you just buffed everybody by 10 percent in stamina i'm pretty sure that's like a weird 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 change and for example, like they nerfed everyone that's a DPS dealer, agility, uh, strength, and intellect by 5%. Like every spec is doing fine, and then here I'm out I'm like, you know, that 5% literally makes a big difference for us out works, but thanks wizard, it's all good. <laughs> so I feel like, I don't know, there's just, I would honestly feel better if the devs were to go and make detailed changes to abilities rather than like flat changes of buffs and nerfs for everyone. But that's just some of my thoughts. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hopefully this was everything for you guys to need to know. In terms of covering how healers are doing and if you felt like maybe you were hitting a little bit less and healers were outperforming you a little bit more than usual and you were wondering hmm why is that and it didn't look like nothing changed and it's like well there it is there it is and i feel like we're kind of going back to that like healer superiority how we had like back in uh mr pandaria and warlords which isn't terrible like uh i guess in mr pandaria like by the last last season everything seemed balanced and maybe by the very last season of warlords everything finally seemed a little bit balanced and maybe we'll just have to wait a season or two for legion for the actual feel of balance to kick in so everybody can be happy and whatnot but anyway guys let me know what your thoughts on this uh recent change let me know how you guys feel in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video